Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jack here from Jacktastic Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up DHCP on Windows Server 2019. So first off, why use DHCP? Well, it does a number of things. First off, it allows you to automatically assign the IP addresses to new devices, uh, in this case, um, client machines that join the network uh, and make it easier for them to join the domain, as well as allows you to do things like Windows deployment services so that you can remotely re-image uh, your machines to have different versions of Windows or different setups of Windows as you need them. Uh, those are like the two really big reasons, so let's go ahead and get started on setting up DHCP. So first things first, let's go ahead and install it here on our uh, domain controller. You could go ahead and install it on any server on your network, but we're going to install it on our domain controller uh, just so we don't have to create more servers to do small tasks like DHCP. So go ahead, hit manage, add rules and features, select the role-based uh, feature set, next. And we're just going to go ahead and select DHCP server, add features, next, 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 and restart if required. Hit yes, and install. So it's going to go ahead and start installing the features, and if it needs to restart, it'll do that, and then we'll be able to configure it. All right, so we can go ahead, hit close here, come up to the little notification flag, click that, and then complete the DHCP configuration. So we're going to hit next. Just go ahead and use those credentials and hit commit. That'll be done. Now we can go over and actually manage our DHCP pool. So go to Tools, DHCP, and we'll expand this window. Drag this out a little bit. Click in here, and we're gonna be creating a IPv4 um, DHCP pool. So what we can do is go ahead, right click this, create a new scope. We're gonna hit Next. We're just gonna call this Client Machines. Uh, we don't need the description. And we're going to go ahead and just keep in line with the IPs we've already been using. But we're actually going to skip a little bit down the road so that we can statically assign IP addresses to any future servers we create, not affecting the machines we already have. So we're going to go ahead and start at 192.168.1. We'll say 115. And we'll end at 192.168.1.1. 45. So that gives us 30 IP addresses inside this range. Um, don't worry about the length or the subnet mask. Unless you know how to subnet, don't mess with any of this. Go ahead and hit next. Excluded IP addresses. We don't have any right now, so we can just go ahead and skip that. But let's say we had a printer on here. We do 192.168.1.122. Um, you know, For example, would be the uh, IP address of that printer. We would just put that in there and hit add. So let's go ahead and hit next. Uh, we'll leave the lease duration to eight days. After eight days, um, if the computer has not requested a new IP address, it'll assign that IP address to a computer that is waiting for one, um, but it could just renew the uh, lease if it hasn't um, ran out of IP addresses to give. Then we can go ahead and hit next. The default gateway is going to be 192.168.1.1. Add there. The domain. That's good. The DNS is the same as the DHCP server in this case, so just hit next. The server name uh, or the win server, we can just go ahead and skip that. And then we can activate the scope now and click finish. So now this scope is live, so let's go over and switch to our PC. And we see here, if we do start R, CMD, and then we'll do ipconfig slash all, You'll see DHCP is disabled. We have this IP address manually assigned, but if we come into here, go to change adapter options, double click this, go to properties, uh, dot backslash root and password. Go to properties. Now, if we obtain the IP address and the DNS server automatically, close out of here, we come back, we run this command again, you'll see that it issued out the first IP address in that range because DHCP is enabled. So now the next machine to join this network will receive 192.168.1.116. So uh, DHCP is working. We can uh, ensure it is by going and pinging 192.168.1.100 and that's our server. 
you can see the ping is successful. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys liked it, go ahead, drop a like down below. If you didn't like it, drop a dislike. And if you really did, tell me why in a comment. Tell me what you'd like to see in a future video. And until next time, peace out.